Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price for the VolQuest Stock Report. Brent, stock up for you this week. Well, it's going to sound cliche, but stock up for me is toe meets leather. I mean, we're playing football. And, um, I, I, you know, me, Austin, pessimistic me. Uh, I'm a guy that uh, I had more than one uh, day of doubt throughout the last five or six months on whether this thing was actually going to get to this point. We were going to play football. You still have a little bit of worry the last 48 hours. Do you get to kick off based on what you saw uh, with Notre Dame and Wake Forest this week? But the fact that, that – there's SEC football, and Tennessee is going to line up and play Saturday night at South Carolina. To me, it's the biggest stock up going for fans right now. Stock up for me is going to be just this, the fact that Tennessee has got continuity and experience in a lot of key spots, whether it be continuity with having the same coordinators back-to-back years. You look at South Carolina, while they've got T-Rob on defense, they're breaking in a new uh, offensive coordinator, Mike Bobo, on offense. How does that jail? He's brought in his quarterback from Colorado State, up, upsetting the, you know, the, the, and, and what I'm calling an upset to pick him over Ryan Helensky, who was there last year at South Carolina. How does that jail? So Tennessee's got an experienced quarterback, even if he's, you know, been kind of Jekyll and Hyde at times. Jarrett's still experienced. They're experienced on the offensive line. They're experienced in the secondary. I think the experience and continuity are a big stock up for this, me this week. Stock down for you. That stock down for me is going to go Tennessee's defensive front, and that's just to, to echo Jeremy Pruitt's frustrations. We, we've not seen them, but it's pretty clear how frustrated Jeremy Pruitt has been with, with this unit throughout fall camp. They've not been physical enough for him. He's not seen enough effort at times out of those guys. You know, that's an interesting transition from Tracy Rocker to Jimmy Brumball. Uh, Tracy Rocker was a technician, um, a guy more known for developing players than recruiting or anything else. Those guys didn't get a feel for Jimmy Brumball, Austin, in, in spring practice. And I think as a result of that, there's been a little bit more of a, uh, a building process, a little bit more trying to develop some, some continuity, if you will, with, with that unit. Uh, and, and then on top of that, you've had guys out for contact tracing and COVID. So I, I think they've struggled a bit with their chemistry uh, and the adjustments there. How do they play on Saturday? They've got to step it up because clearly – that are a question mark or a concern, I should say, more than a question mark, heading into the opener. Stock down for me is, is the punting situation. One, we've not been out there for fall camp, but Tennessee didn't end last year on a great note. Joe Doyle was the starter early, but then he lost his job to Paxton Brooks. Neither one kicked the ball very well all year long. Joe Doyle leaves, but then comes back. Paxton Brooks is, is apparently going to get the job because he's been here the whole time. But to me, there's a lot of doubt around the kick, or around the punting situation, whereas Tennessee is great with Samaglia, a place kicker, punter, a much bigger question mark for me. Stock stagnant for you. Yeah, I think you just got to go Jerry Garantano. And that's, that doesn't mean to be a negative, um, you know, but the fact of the matter is it's not like Jared had a bad camp. He didn't have a bad camp last year. Uh, he didn't have a bad spring last year. Uh, but then he goes out and did not play well and was Jekyll and Hyde, as you mentioned, uh, all season long at the quarterback position. Jared's never been in a better position to succeed, in my opinion, Austin, when you talk about the experience up front, the experience he has, the running game he should have around him, and the fact that he's bringing his offensive coordinator, coordinator and his quarterback's coach back. He's set up for success more than he's ever been. He's got to go out and prove it. And until he does, he's going to be stock stagnant for me. So I'm curious to see what he looks like Saturday night. Well, helping him try to prove it would be the guys that I'm stock stagnant on, and that's the freshman wide receivers or just the, or the receivers in general. A lot of depth there, a lot of promise, a lot of hope, but they've got to be able to prove it. Josh Palmer has proven it, but now all of a sudden he's the man and not, you know, the number two or number three guy. Ramel Keaton's shown flashes. Cedric Tillman's had a lot of hope and promise in fall camp. These freshmen have got a lot of promise in fall camp, but again, their stock stagnant for me because they've got to be able to prove that they can make plays on Saturdays in the fall. And all that starts Saturday at 7.30 with Tennessee and South Carolina. That's this week's Stock Report. For Brent Hubs, I'm Austin Price.